Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to be making this, well showing you how to make this elf design. Oop, you can already see part of my other elf. Um, and I'm really happy with how this design looks. I think they both look so cute, so I will be showing you how to make both the boy and the girl elf. Um, I absolutely love them. And you couldn't tell in the photo, but they actually have like pointy shoes. His is, his is messed up. I like hers better, so I'll show you how to do hers. But yeah, he even has like a band coming out. Oops. But overall, I think they're really, really cute. And... Yeah, I just wanted to get this design up for Christmas. I feel like it's so cute. And to me, one of the best parts about this design is that it is the same size as my witch. So they can all be friends. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I, I love this. Um, I just realized I don't think, did I do a band count? Uh, I thought I wrote down the band count for the witch. Oh, I do have one. Okay, so because this... um design is like the same size as the witch you actually I'm gonna send you guys over to the witch tutorial to make the base body uh, I thought about doing it in this tutorial but because I'm gonna show you how to make both the girl and the boy elf this tutorial would probably end up being like two hours so instead I'm gonna send you to the witch tutorial you're gonna make the body if you want you basically just change the colors from which colors like the girl especially is exactly the same it's just you change the colors to whatever you want for your elf but with the boy, you just wouldn't do the striped legs. You would just do one solid color. But yeah, so I'm going to send you to the witch tutorial. I'll have the witch tutorial linked in the description. And I'll see if I can do that um, little eye card thingy to put the witch tutorial. So you guys can go make the bodies. I'll also have the pattern that was for the witch body. Or I guess now it's just like the base body, I guess, in the description. So that way, if you guys don't know how to make it, but you know how to follow my patterns, it's in the description. Now, I do have a band count for this, so for the main body part, the head is 63 skin, skin tone bands, the shirts, why is this shirt, okay, my, these counts are a little off because of the witch, so I don't know how many it takes for the shirt, but, yeah, so I'll have the full band count in the description, I just realized I forgot to do that, and um, I'll do that later, so if you want to know the band count, it'll be in the description, and yeah, I think that's it. Um, so, like I said, go make... I'm going to take these guys out of the way. Go make the bodies and then come back with either your girl body or your boy body. I'll show you how to do everything from this point. So you're going to want to come when you've just finished the bodies. Okay. So now, I'm going to start doing the... I think I'll do the girl first. Hmm, let's put arms on them first. <laughs> I'm just waiting where to start. But I think arms will be a good place. So, I think the way we're going to do this is I'm going to show you how to do, well, the arms are the same on both, so I'll show you how to do the arms first, and then I'll probably do the girl first, and then I'll do the boy. So, let me just focus, and let me move these guys out of the way. Um, so, to make the arms, what we're going to do, I'm just double checking something. So we're going to get two peach bands. We're going to wrap them around our hook four times. So that's two. And you can actually grab both loops and wrap them back around. And that'll be four. And then we'll do the dude's arm first. So you're going to get your... The same color as the shirt. Unless you want them to be sleeveless. <laughs> um, but I'm going to get the shirt color. And you're going to pull two bands through this. And put both ends back on. Am I missing a band? Oh shoot, I did lose one. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you'll just put both ends back on. And then, oh, I forgot how many times we chain up. Okay, so then we're gonna chain, we're gonna chain um, two more doubled bands onto this, so. This will be two. And then we're doing doubled, um, like two bands at once. Three, four, and that's one arm. And then we'll just attach this to our guy. I usually just go on his side here, and I'll go about right here. I'll just tie his arm in. And we'll do this exact same thing again for his other arm. So once again, we'll get two peach bands. We'll wrap them around our hook four times so I wrapped it around twice and then I'll just get both loops wrap them around again and then I'll get 
then we'll be chaining on four um, doubled bands. Well, not... Is it doubled two bands at once? Like, what is that called? I'm having... I can't remember. I need a couple more orange. But yeah, we're gonna take two bands at once and then just chain them on four times. That's one, two, three, and four. I also realized I didn't hide the tail in last time. I'll do that in a second. Sometimes I'll get lazy and I'll just like stick all the tails out and tuck them in at the end. Once again, we'll just go into his side and then pull a band through everything on your hook. Make a slip knot and then pull tight. And he has arms. So I'm just gonna do the same thing to my to the girl. Um, I'm probably gonna pause just because I feel like I already explained how to do the arms. But if you're doing a girl, um, elf, the arms are done exactly the same as the dude, so there's no difference. So I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna give my girl elf arms, and then I'll come back. Yeah. Okay, so I just finished giving her arms, so that's pretty easy because her arms are done in the exact same way. So what I think I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you how to do um, some of the stuff for the girl, so like the um, skirt. So I need to grab some C-clips because I just realized I'm one short. Okay, so I grabbed an extra C-clip and like I said, we'll be doing the girl's um, skirt next. And the skirt is done exactly the same as the witch's skirt, so... If you made my witch, you do the skirt the same way, but because I wanted to show, like, how to do all the accessories in this video, um, I'll show you how to do our skirt. So we're gonna just set the dude aside for now, and we are going to do the skirt, which I remember how to do, I just don't remember one thing. Okay, so let me get some of our skirt color. I'll be making her skirt blue again, like, in my last one, I made her skirt match her shirt so I'm doing that again so to start doing the skirt what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap the band on your hook once then you'll pull another band through so you just chain it on and you do that one more time and that's it and you're gonna make 17 in total of these things so this is one I need to make 16 more and I'll show you a couple more times in case you're confused so, cap a band on our hook, pull a band through that, both ends back on. So we're just chaining on, and we'll do that again. And like I said, you want to do this 17 times, so that's two, so we need 15 more. So cap a band, and then we just chain two bands on. So I'll just keep doing this. I just wanted to say, I think you're going to have to bear with me for this tutorial, because I think I'm going to keep flipping between the boy and the girl, so I'm sorry if you're just trying to make the boy or the girl, because I think it's just going to make more sense for me to, um, because I usually will do their heads last, so I'm going to do the girl's skirt right now, I'll probably finish the girl's full outfit, and then I'll go to the boy's full outfit, and then we'll go to the heads, so I hope that's not too confusing, I just wanted to let you know in case you're trying to make the boy right now and you're confused. Um, my chain just fell apart. But yeah, I just wanted to say that. Uh, I probably won't stay on to do all 17 chains because that'll, that'll take a second, but I just wanted to say that. So that's how it's going to work for this tutorial. I'm going to do, well, we just did the arms, but I'm just, I'm going to do the girl's full outfit and then, it, so you might want to skip ahead if you're looking for the boy's full outfit. He'll be a little more ahead in the video. But yeah, I'm going to go off camera to make 17 of the cat band with two chained on. And then I'll come back to show you how to do the skirt. Okay, so I just realized I didn't say, because um, you do have to kind of have all these on your hook at once. And I realize some of you guys might not have a double-ended hook. So if you don't have a double-ended hook, you could probably do these in sections. Like make like five at a time and then pull them on in the way I'm going to show you. But because I have a really long hook, I just crammed them all on there. But yeah, this is what 17 should look like. I'm pretty sure I have 17. I hope I counted correctly. Um, but you should have 17 of these. So, let me just check something. Okay. So now to pull these on, 
what we are going to do, if you've made my witch skirt, you already know what's happening, but if you don't. So what we're going to do is we are going to get three bands and we are just going to make like a chain of slip knotted bands. So we're going to get a band. I just realized it's not focused. Okay. And we're going to pull it. It's still not focused. There we go. We're going to pull it through. So we're just going to set a band on our hook. We're going to... It's so hard to loom with this many things on my hook. Um, we're gonna pull a band through that, put both ends back on, and then put the back one over the front one and pull it tight. And we're gonna do that exact same thing one more time. So we're gonna have this setting on our hook. We're gonna pull a band through. Oh my God, I pulled it too through. We're gonna pull it through, put the back one over the front one, pull it tight. And then we're gonna get the other one of this chain and we're just gonna hold it like we would a band and we're gonna slide everything onto it. So like I said, if you don't have a long hook, I feel like, it, okay, it's still focused. Um, you could just like slide five bands onto this and then C-clip the ends and then undo the C-clip and then add more. So that's a way to do it if you don't have a long hook. But like I said, I have a really long hook, so I was able to just um, put them all on at once. But you can do that if you don't have a long hook. But yeah. So we're just going to slide them all on. My sister always says to tell her because my sister actually came up with how to do skirts like this. So, shout out to my sister. Okay. And then what we're going to do after we've slid everything onto this is we're just going to, like I said before, C-clip the ends. So, I usually C-clip like this. Like that. And now I'll usually put the skirt on my girl for this next part. So, for the next part, what we are going to do is we're going to make another slip knot band um, chain just like we did last time, but this time we're going to do four bands. So it's the same thing, so we're going to get a band, we're going to set it on our hook, we're going to pull another band through that band. I feel like I'm going fast, I need to slow down. But we're going to pull another band through that band, we're going to put the back one over the front one, and we're going to pull it tighter. We're going to do that exact same thing two more times, so... I'm sorry guys, I'm like really happy today and whenever I'm happy I start going fast. Like I get speed. <laughs> um, yeah, but once you have a chain of like a long string of four bands slip knotted together, what you're going to do, or usually what I do, is go right here so you have the cap band and then you have that second band you chained on and we already have like a band running through the top bit so we're gonna go through I need to turn on my brightness I can't see what I'm doing what? okay I fixed it so what we're gonna do is you're gonna go through not the cap band but the second loop here you're just gonna put your hook through and we're gonna want to go through this like go through the middle band all the way around but I usually because it's hard to do that I'll do it like in sections at a time so we're just going to be putting our hook through not the cap band but the second loop okay and then once I have a good section I'm just going to get my um, band I'll pull it through You can kind of let the back just hang because it's not too tight. Yeah, you're just going to want to keep going around. like I said, like you can see my other side didn't come out. So I'm just doing the same thing. I realized I went quiet there for a second. But yeah, as long as you don't pull it too hard, you can kind of leave the other side just hanging there. And then I'll C-clip it right here. I try to make all my um, ends end up in the same spot so I can C-clip them all in the same spot. But if they don't, you can just like push the band around and, it'll, and then put it towards the back. But yeah. 
Like that. Her skirt keeps falling off. I don't know why. So at this point we're almost done. We're just going to want to do the same thing we just did, but just through the cat bands to finish off her skirt. So once again, we'll be making a chain of, a slip knot chain of, what do you call it? A four. I couldn't remember the number. But yeah. I'm not really explaining what I'm doing because I just showed you how to do this. Like that. Ooh, this one's a little, that one. Oh well. So like I said, we're going to do the same thing we just did, but we're going to be going through, instead of the second chain this time, we're going to go through the cat bands. So you're just going to want to get all the cat bands on. And usually the way I'll make it so all the ends meet is I'll just pull, be working with one side the whole time and I kind of just leave the side in the back. And you could probably put like this side in one of the C-clips like we have on if you don't want it to end up getting lost. So I'm going to do that. And then you can just go around. And it's really easy to get all the loops, um, the cat bands this time, because they're kind of the only thing that's loose. So this part's really easy. You're just going to want to make sure every time you're getting both sides of the cat band. And I'm already back around, so... I'm just going to clip the ends. And since I clipped this one in this bit, I'm just going to unclip it and then put it in the new C-clip. And now she has a skirt and usually you can just like push these bands over to cover up the C-clips and you can't really see them. And then I'll just pull her skirt back up. And there she goes. She has a skirt. So what we're going to do next is I think I'm going to show you how to do the buttons and the neck bit. So for the buttons you're going to want to get some black. You only need two bands of black but I know I'm going to have to do it for the dude. So if you're making a dude this is done the same way but I'm going to show it later for the dude in case people are like skipping around in this tutorial. But all you do is you get a band, you wrap it, I think I wrapped it five times around my hook so one, three, four, five and then you're just going to pull the band through this so it looks like this and then you'll just put it about let me see where it is I'm going to probably put mine right here and then I'll just tie it like that. And we'll just want to do the exact same thing so she has one more button. There's a loomer that's texting me like crazy right now and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> What's up? Because usually I'll get one text and like that's it, but she's already sent like five. So that's interesting. Maybe something's happening, I don't know. But I'm going to do the same thing, so I'm going to wrap a band five times around my hook. So that's one, two, three four, five, pull a band through everything on my hook, and then I'll just pick where the button goes, so I'm gonna, that was my top button, so I'm gonna put a little lower than that, and we'll just tie it, and she has buttons, I don't know if it's because these bands are jelly, because I did the slipknot thing the same as I always do, but her skirt, for whatever reason, feels loose, even though I did this body exactly the same as the witch, and the skirt stays up just fine on the witch. <laughs> it might just be these bands, they're jelly and they're not normal, so I, I don't know what's up with that. But her skirt still looks fine, so it's okay. Um, and then usually what I do to do the belt, like on the witch, I actually did like a chain around, but for um, this design I didn't, I just got two bands. And then I just stretched them over her head and then put them at her waist. And you just want to make sure the skirt doesn't cover it up, so just put the belt wherever the skirt isn't going to be. Like that. So now I'm going to show you how to do the white thing around. And like I said, if you're doing a boy elf at the same time as a girl elf, because I'm kind of showing the girl elf first, 
of her body and then we'll flip over. Um, this is done the same way. So you're going to want to get some white. Uh, okay, I thought I wasn't filming. <laughs> um, I had to stop like the timer for a second because my thing only films in like 20 minute um, segments. So I already was at 20 minutes. So I did want to cut off when I was showing this. So I had to pause it and I realized. But it like took me an awkward second to pause. So that's what that was. But yeah, so now we're going to be doing the collar. And the collar is fairly easy. So I usually go straight to the back. And where I put the collar is in between where these blue and um, peach bands are. I couldn't think of the color. So you're going to want to go. So here's the blue row. And then there's like where the stitch thing is. You're going to want to go in between that. And then we'll just make a stitch. And we're just going to keep doing this all the way around. So you're going to want to go right there. So it's where the peach bands, like right above the, oh, I'm blurry. So where the peach bands, like the blue bands, like that section, where these two are, you're going to go between them. And you'll just stitch around. Okay, so right here I'm going to go down to make the first, um, like little down bit, I guess. So all I do to do this is I'll go down one, so like right here, like that, and then I'll just continue going up, and then I'll make the thing, and then you get a few more white bands. Okay, and now right here, I'm going to go down again to do this little thing, so it's not really a clear spot where I should go down, so I'm just going to go like right here. I don't know if that's going to make it like way farther down than the other side. Hopefully it looks fine. And we'll just keep going around. And does it look okay? I think I maybe should have gone lower on the first one. Yeah, I, this one's definitely too low. So, I'm not showing you what I'm doing wrong. I'm just placing the stitches wrong. So, if it looks wrong on these things when you go down one, like out of the peach to stitch one in the blue to make it look like it goes down. If it looks wrong, it's probably because you went down too far. That looks better. And then we'll just keep going around. I actually only have one stitch left and I'm back at the start. And then usually what I'll do is I'll go into this little thing here. And then I'll pull a band through everything on my hook. Oops. And then I'll put the back one over the front one and pull tight. And we hide the tail. Okay. And it'll look a little bit weird at first, so you kind of have to like pinch it to go like the white in the way you want it to. Um, it looks a little weird at first, but it does kind of fix itself. Um, yeah. It's kind of hard. And you can also pull on like the bottom half of the stitch if the top half's too big. Because that's happened as well. Yeah, I was just making sure I did it right, but I did it right. Actually, I think I know it looks a little wrong, and that's what I'm a little bit worried about. Hold up. Okay, so I think, I don't know why this makes sense, because I was noticing that in this way, I looped this way. I don't know if you can see, and this one, I looped this way. So what we're going to do, if you looped, if it looks wrong, if it looks right, I don't know if you have to loop a certain direction. I have no idea. But what we're going to do is we're just going to undo all of these. But we're not going to take them out. We're just going to unloop them. And then we're going to loop it in the other direction. So we're going to start right here. And we'll just re-loop them all together. And for whatever reason, it looks right now. I don't know. 
but then we'll just tie the ends and tuck it in. I have no idea why that looks better. I, I'm right-handed, by the way, so maybe if you were left-handed, you did that correct, but it just looks better going that way. Like, now that looks correct. <laughs> that's weird, but okay. So that's pretty much it for the girl's body. I'm going to show you how to do the boys now, and then you might want to skip ahead if you're just doing a girl elf, and I'll show you, in a, like, way ahead on how to do the um, girl elf stuff. Okay, so now we're going to start doing the boy elf. Um, I also realized I didn't show you guys how to do the shoes, but I'm going to show you guys how to do the shoes at the end after the hair. I feel like this video is all over the place. I'm so sorry. It's just a little hard to do. I don't know. Not hard, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm just explaining today. I'm just picking up some bands. Because the first thing we are going to do, or we're going to make these little um, shirt flaps for him... Also, all the bands on my elves keeps untucking themselves. Now he's got two loose ones, but yeah, we're going to do these little flaps first. So, what we are going to do is... is I'm just checking. Okay, so we're going to start... So there's like this one stitch that looks like it's right in the middle. We're going to start on the one next to that. There we go. Okay. And we're just going to make four stitches into him. So, this one... Two. And I'm going in all these ones that are like, like between those. I don't know if you can see where I'm stitching. So. Like that. And that was four. And you can tell you have four because if you count back, you'll have one, two, three, four. Four? Wait. Yeah, that was four. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to turn our hook around. And we're going to stick backwards on all of these. So we're just going to go backwards. And make a stitch in each one of these loops. But when we get to the end, the last loop, we're also going to stitch into this first loop that looks like a loop. But it actually technically isn't. But we're going to make a stitch in it. And then we're just going to turn our hook again and go all the way across this way. And then once we finish going into all the loops, we are actually done with this half of his um, shirt flap. So we're just going to go down. I usually go into this one right here. And we're just going to tie the end loop down. So we're just going to pull a band through everything on our hook. And make a slip knot and pull it tight. And then we'll hide the tail. I didn't hide that tail very well. Like that. And then we have the first of our... Shirt. I've been calling them shirt flaps. I don't know what they are. Yeah, this is actually the front of him. I was looking at him and I was like, wait, that's not the front. Yeah, that's the front. So we're just going to do the exact same thing to the other side. So let me just pick up some more orange bands. Okay. I have Taylor Swift songs stuck in my head. Yeah, that's that was just like I feel so scatterbrained lately. I need to get my head together. <laughs> I don't know. I've just been very scatterbrained since yesterday. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna start right here. Like I said, you're not gonna. You're, there's gonna be one in the middle that you don't stitch on, and then we'll just do four stitches this way. So one, two. And we're just stitching into him. And like I said, we're going in between those two right there. And this will be four. And then all we do 
is we turn and go back this way. Oh no, it came apart. It's because I let go. Sorry. Ah! Oh shoot. I had a feeling my camera was going to fall on me. But it did. It's because my parents are playing um, Evermore in the living room. You guys can't hear it. I know it's not that loud. But I just hear all the Taylor Swift songs and I'm like, yes. But yeah, we're just stitching into each stitch going back this way. Okay, and then once you get to the last loop, like I said last time, we're going to stitch into this first loop that technically isn't a stitch, but we're going to stitch into it anyways. And then we'll turn and go back this way again. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way so you can see what I'm doing, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> but we're just making stitches in all these loops going back the other way now. This last loop's always, always, it's kind of hard to see. Like that. And then the same as last time, we're going to tie it right here and then we'll have the tail like that and that is it for his shirt flaps um, that's actually the back of him this is the front of him Ta -da. and now he needs his belt so the belt is done the same way as on the girl so you just take two bands you stretch them over their head, and it makes a belt. So we'll do his buttons next, and his buttons are done exactly the same as the girl's as well. So if you've already done the girl, you know how to do this, but if you haven't... Um, and the buttons, by the way, are these dudes. But all you're going to do is wrap a band on your, around your hook five times, so that's three, four, five. And then you'll take a band in your shirt color through everything on your hook and this is a little tight so if it's a little too tight for you you can wrap it around four times and it'll look just as fine I, I just like to wrap it around five then we'll tie it in like that and hide the tail and we'll do that again for his second button um, the dude is much easier to make because he doesn't have a skirt. So that's four. And we'll pull one more. And then we'll get a band in the shirt color. Just pull it through. But like I said, if you don't want to work it around five times, you can totally do it to, um, four times and it'll be just the same. It's just, I like it a little tighter. But it doesn't make too much of a difference. I'm going to put his other button right here. And we'll hide the tail. Oh my god. I'm sorry I'm going off camera. I'm trying to hide the tail. There we go. His buttons. I oh don't know. They look good. Okay, so now we need to do the collar next, and if you got confused on the girl's collar, you can watch me do the dude's, maybe I'll do it a little better. Um, I'm going to try stitching this way this time, like last time I had to undo it and stitch the other way. Maybe it was just the direction I was stitching, I, I have no idea. So last time I went from, I went going like this way, but this time I'm going to go this way. So we're going to start here and where you want to stitch the collar this is the only place it looks correct is on this last row of peach bands you're going to go in between those two that look like they're going horizontally and you'll make a stitch and you do this all the way around so okay so i already did i only did two so far but right now is where you're going to want to go down to make it look like it has this little like point in the collar so i'll go down to here 
and we'll go back up. Yeah, it definitely, the collar looks best for whatever reason. If, I don't know if you can tell, but all my stitches from when I made this dude are going this way. So you're going to want to make the collar going against the stitches, so in the opposite direction. If you make it going the other direction, it's not a big deal. Um, you could probably stitch it in the other way, and like I did with the girl's collar, just unloop them all and then flip directions if it doesn't look right. That is probably what is wrong with your collar. But yeah, <laughs> it's just a little confusing. So, then I'll do one stitch in between the head. Then we'll want to go down again. So I'll go right there, and back up. Oh, his collar turned out perfectly. Yes. And we'll just keep stitching around the head. So I'm not really telling you how many I'm stitching because if you're going in between, like, um, where the last peach is and you're going right here, there's only so many you can go through and then you'll meet back up with your other end. And then you'll just go through this first bit and make a slip knot. Then we will hide the tail. Oops, I did not hide the tail close enough to where it ends. There we go. And that is pretty much it for the dude's outfit. Um, I don't know why his arm looks a little low, but now you should have, if you're making two, they should look like this, but if you're making one, either or, yeah. Um, I realized I forgot to tell you how to do the shoes, so I'm going to show you how to do the shoes really quick. Let me just get some black bands. Okay, I had to make sure I remembered how to do the shoes, so I did one of her shoes just to make sure I knew how, oh, it's blurry. Why are you doing this camera? There we go. Just to make sure I remembered how I did it because anyways we have three more feet to do so I'll show you how to do the shoes and then we'll do their faces and then our elves are done. I hope your elves are coming out okay so far. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to explain attaching things. I'm really bad at it and this elf has a lot of attaching. Um, also I don't know how to write down the steps for attaching so I'm relying 100% on my memory right now and so far I feel like I've done pretty well but um, that's why if there's like some odd pauses, it's because I'm like, what the heck am I doing? Uh, yeah. But anyways, to do the shoe, it's kind of hard to see because it's black. But you're going to go. So there's like these three stitches in the front. We're going to stitch into these three. But you're going to want to go below that horizontal band so we don't like get rid of most of our shoe. And we're just going to stitch three across. So like I said, you can see there's that horizontal band there. We're going to go under that. We're just going to stitch in three times. And just always make sure you're going under that horizontal band, otherwise it'll look funky. And then all we're going to do is we're going to turn and we're going to stitch across these two stitches. It's really hard to see what I'm doing when I use black, but you're just going to stitch across those two loops. And then we'll turn again. And we're going to do a decrease, so we're going to pick up like we're decreasing, and then we'll pull a band through everything on our hook, make a slip knot, and pull tight. And then you're going to want to go up through this weird thing we made to hide the tail. If you just pull it straight into the leg, it's going to lose the point, so you have to pull it through some of these weird stitches we made. It looks really funky. You kind of have to squish the point. Um, so it'll look like this directly after. But if you squish it. And the bottom of her foot is now coming out as well. So that's not helping the look. I'm also kind of looking off camera right now. Because it's impossible to see what I'm doing on camera. Because the bands are black. But. You're just going to squish it a little bit. Usually I'll squish it so it's like pointy. 
and then if you just let it curl up and the bottom of her foot should be flat if not it's just how you pulled your c-clip in like that and then she has pointy shoes pointy elf shoes and I'll show you again on the guy um it's kind of hard to explain but I'll do both his feet on camera just so you guys can see because it's hard to see on camera with black bands I should have given him different color shoes but it's a little late for that now but we're almost done actually because after this all we have to do is their heads and we're done I also think I've been looming too much my hand it's kind of hurting but we'll be okay oops there's random hair I'm just picking up some black bands really quick. Okay, so like I said before, we're gonna wanna go into these black bands in the, oh, I don't focus it. There we go. These black bands in the front here, these three, but you can see that horizontal band, you're gonna wanna go under them. So we're gonna start with this one over here and just make sure you go under that um, band that looks like it's horizontal and make a stitch. And then we'll go into the next one. And we'll make another stitch. Just make sure you're always going under that first horizontal band. And we'll stitch across three, like I said, so I already did two, and this is the last one. And then we'll turn our hook around. And we'll make stitches in both of these next two. And then we'll turn our hook around again. We'll pick it up like we're decreasing, so... And then we'll pull a band through everything on our hook, tie it tight, and hide the tail. And like I said, you always want to go up into the shoe to hide the tail. Like up into this weird, loose, pointy thing we made. And you'll just like pull it back down in. And you do have to kind of squish the point to get it to do what you want. Most of the time, it'll just... Pointy shoe. And we just do that one more time for his last leg. Uh, so, I usually just pick which ones I want to be the front three. I also just realized I never explained what a decrease is in this tutorial, but I'm guessing if you made the body, you know what a decrease is, so I hope your elf is coming out okay. I'm not explaining what I'm doing for this last shoe because I've explained it twice already, so I'm just trying to hurry up and finish this shoe so we can move on. I could have paused, but I mean, the shoe just takes a second. I'm also really sad I didn't do my nails Christmas Eve for these tutorials, but I just ran out of time, um, because it was literally finals week, like, three days ago, I think now, or four, so I was, like, cleaning my room, because, of course, it was finals week, so my room absolutely just exploded, and then, um, I was, like, doing my finals, so I haven't had time to, like, paint my nails, I like painting them fun for tutorials, I think it's cool, um, Yeah. If you if you ever don't have a point, it's because you pulled the tail in too tight and it got rid of it. And then Yeah. And if you, it doesn't look pointy, just squish it like this. And hopefully it'll help it look more pointy. But there we go. They have shoes. Okay, so the last thing we need to do, of course, is their heads and hair, and I realize I don't have eyes, so I'm gonna go grab some eyes and stuff, because I think... No, we do their faces last. Um, I guess we'll do the hat next. Let me just check something on the hat. Okay. So, I'm gonna show you how to do the girl, girl elf's hat first, but the boy hat is done exactly the same way. I just realized you can see I have, like, wrappers and stuff over there. One minute. I forgot I had... I, I just realized I started talking before I turned it back on, but I forgot I had crackers on my desk, and I realized that they were kind of in frame, so sorry about that. Um... Yeah, but we're gonna do the hat. So usually what I'll do for the hat is I'll start in the, it's hard to see on them, but we're gonna start about right here. So there's this band, we're gonna go right here. 
and we're just going to stitch a circle around her head. And I'll tell you exactly how many stitches we want to do once we get around, but I'm going to be perfectly honest. Um, I usually just feel how many times I should go around, which is, like, I feel where the hat should be, and I don't really count, which is why it's kind of hard to tell you exactly where I go, because I usually just feel it, kind of. But yeah, we're just going to make a circle around the head. You're, of course, going to want to leave space for the hair, so don't go too low. Um, I'm going to go up to here. You're going to want to go pretty high up for the hat. Yeah, see, because then we leave space for the hair. And I think the girl's hair is harder to do than the boy's hair, so I'll show you how to do the boy's hair. But I'll show you how to do both hats, like... First, so oops. I'll tell you exactly how many stitches I have around at the end, but yeah, I kind of just feel where the hat should be. <laughs> so it's really hard to explain. But you're just gonna want to make sure you have the brim up high enough that you have space for her hair. Like you're gonna want to give her a pretty big forehead. Um, I actually think I might have done my hat a little low. Yeah, I'm going to want to make my hat go a little bit higher up. So you want to make it look like she has a pretty big forehead. But it's really hard to explain exactly what I'm doing because you really do have to kind of feel where you want the hat. Just make sure you give her a lot of space for hair. That's all I would say. So I'm up here like right by the cat band stitching for the hat. So you really do want to leave like a lot of space for hair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really sorry I'm not explaining more. I'm just feeling where the hat goes. Now you're just going to want to make sure the ends meet up. So, we'll go right here. Like that. So, as you can see, I gave her a pretty big forehead. The hat's fairly high up on her head, and then I just made a circle around. But I stitched around about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 times. But honestly, if you stitch around 14 times but you're happy with where your hat is, you're probably fine. So all we're going to start doing now is we're going to go back into this first stitch. We're going to make a stitch and we're going to put a C-clip on this band. So we're just going to put a C-clip on it. And then all we're going to do is we're going to go around this thing we made twice. So we're just going to go around this twice, making one stitch in every loop until we get back to the C-clip. I don't know if I'll show you how to do the dude's hat because if you're making the dude, the dude's hat is done exactly the same as the girl's hat. So I was originally going to show both of them, but I feel like I'm just going to show how to do one. I'm going to go off camera and do the other hat and then I'll just show you how to do their hairs and stuff. Because, I mean, I don't see the point of, like, showing the hat twice if it's the exact same thing for both. And on the dude, too, you're going to want to leave lots of space for his hair. How high I would go about up if you're a little lost is I went right by, like, right on the bands that were under the cat band, so I would go about that high. I'm not honestly not sure if we do two or three rows around this, so we're just going to start by doing two. This really does take a second to do. <laughs> so I've almost gone around once. I think we do go around three times in total, so... Yeah. 
I don't know why this won't. There we go. And then more blue. I don't know if you can hear my family. I think they're watching football. Even though I hear Taylor Swift playing. And they played that on the TV. So I don't know how they have both going. Also, I just got notified my phone's dying. Oh, God. And I gotta finish this. Um, let me turn my brightness down so we have more time. Now I really can't see what I'm doing. That's fun. But, yeah. I guess I forgot to charge my phone. Oops. It's because I usually look through the camera to see what I'm doing. Just because that way I know I'm staying on camera. Um... Oh yeah, I guess I forgot to charge it. Also, I did get it wrong. We go around this three times in total, so, um, this is my second time around. I still have to go around one more time after that. But yeah, it's really hard for me to, um, tell you. <laughs> I really do, honestly, just feel it with these hats. Like, I don't have an exact method. I just kind of stitch around the head, make sure she has enough space for hair. Uh, I always do three rows around it. I know that. I do remember that. I had a feeling it was three, but I didn't. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so that was the second time around it. Let me check something. Okay. Actually, I was wrong. We don't go three times around. I'm sorry, guys. Check. I was going to say check the description, but I probably won't have a hat pattern in the description. So we only go around it twice, and now we're going to start um, making it tighter. So I went around this twice. Um, if I told you three times, I'm sorry. Undo that last row if you went off camera. I feel bad, but I don't know... I don't know what to do. So anyways, we're going to be de decreasing every third this time. So this is one, two, and then on the third stitch, we'll do a decrease. And this again, we'll go one, two, and then on the third one, we do a decrease. And we go one, two, and we do a decrease. I'm sorry if I'm going off camera, it's really, I can't look through the camera anymore to see what I'm doing because my phone brightness is so dark. And then once you get to the C-clip, you'll just move it up. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to do one row around this because it needs to be a little pointier. So we're going to do one row around this smaller thing. So after I decrease, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I have ten loops. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have ten loops. But like I said, if you did one more stitch, you probably are going to have a couple more stitches than me. It's honestly not a big deal if you did. Your hat will just be a little wider on your elf's head, but... That's okay. But like I said, we'll just do one row around this. So if you're ever lost in the pattern of the hat, what we've done so far is we've stitched around the head, we did two rows, then we decreased every third, and now we're doing one row around. So just in case anybody's confused, that is what we've done so far. See, the problem is, I thought we'd do three rows, but then I remembered. It's really hard to explain how I design things. It's interesting. I hear my dad doing I don't know what. I think he's bugging my sister. 
But now that we finished that one row around, we are going to be decreasing every other stitch. So we'll do a decrease because I already did one. You know. There we go. And then we'll do one normal stitch or single stitch. And then we'll do a decrease. And then we'll do one. We'll do a decrease. Oh my god, my decrease comes coming off my hook. There we go. Then we do one. And the last decrease is going to be on the band with a C clip on it. But because we're pretty much done at this point, we're just going to decrease till close now. So just take your C-clip out. So we just decrease everything until it's closed up. I don't know how many of you watch my tutorials like completely through, but I feel like if you do, you probably didn't make that three, two row mistake thing. But yeah. Now we're going to pull band through everything on our hook and close it off. So all we do is decrease till close and then I just closed it off like I normally do. And there's her hat. So we're going to want to do this exact same thing on the other elf. So I'm going to pause, do that to my boy elf, and then I'll come back to show you how to do the brim on the hat, the hair, and the face. Okay, so I made his hat. And I got all my eyes together, and I realized that I get a lot of questions, like, if I don't have eye beads, what can I do to make eyes? So, one of the ways you can make eyes is... You can get a band, you can wrap it four times around your hook, and then just take a skin tone band. Oh god, I just dropped all my skin tone, it's all over the floor. That's great. And you just pull it through. And that would be an eye band, but I'm using beads, so I'm just gonna set that aside. One minute, I'm gonna pick up all my skin tone that just fell. Can't believe I dropped a whole pack of skin tone, but I did. So, the next thing we have to do is the hair. Oh god, I didn't know you could see my horribly messy um, desk. It's just, I think my camera moved a bit when I did some things. Um, I don't know what's up. Uh, yeah. So, we're just gonna do the hair next. Um, I forgot to open my pack of bands, so, sorry. But I'm going to be using caramel bands for their hair, so they're going to have brown hair this time. And the way we do the hair is pretty easy. So, I'm going to start with the dude's hair, because we do this for both the dude's and the girl's hair, but um, the dude's is easier to do. Obviously, because he just has short hair, so like this is it for the dude's hair. But for the girl's hair, we have to do more. Um, so, yeah. So, to start, we're going to go to the back of the head, and then right where, like the we stitched in you're gonna want to go between those and then we're just gonna stitch around with our hair color so you're gonna go right where the like on the same one that we stitched the orange on and we're just gonna stitch around with our hair color it's the same band If you don't do it on this like specific band, um, it'll look bad. That's why it was so important where we stitched around the first time. I really wanted to give them dark brown hair, but I couldn't find my cocoa bands, so they have caramel hair. <laughs> They're caramel colored. So we just stitch around. And you're just going to go on whatever the same band that the orange band we used to stitch the hat in is. And then once you get back to the start, you're just going to go into that loop, pull a band through everything, make a slip knot, pull tight, and hide the tail. And that is it for the dude's hair. So I'm going to show you how to do the girl's hair. 
and I just realized I forgot to show you how to do the, the like stripe on the hat so I'll show you that after I do the girl's hair so let me show you how to do the girl's hair so we're gonna start doing it the exact same way we just did the boy's hair we're gonna stitch around in the same band it's just with the girl we go back in and we add a couple um rows to make it look like she has hair in the back and to give her like a, I don't know they look like bangs to me um so that's what we're gonna do And I'm just picking up some bands really quickly. Okay. Oops. Okay. And we're just going to do the same thing. So you're just going to go and stitch in on the same peach band that has the blue band on it. And we're just going to stitch around. So I'm trying to make sure you can see where I'm going in. And you're going to want to make sure there's no like peach bands in the way because if so, it'll give you like a really weird hairline. That's why you want to go right up against the blue band. Like right below where the blue band stitched in. That's where you want to stitch. I'm not really saying anything because I'm just stitching around. And yep. And then you just go back into that first loop. Or the thing that looks like a loop is actually not the first loop. And then tie it. So at this point I usually will put where I kind of want the ears to go just so I know I don't cover them with the hair. Especially with the girl we have to skip a couple loops just to make sure we don't get it. Um, also the boy just needs his ears already. Actually, no, let me show you how to do the, um, the stripe on the hat first. Because like the hair we kind of have to tie into the hat so we need to have that on already. Um, so you're gonna want to get whatever color you want for your stripe. I'm gonna do the girl's stripe first, and I'll probably go off camera to do the boys. So, yeah. My desk right now is such a mess with bands. I'm sorry, guys. But I'm just picking up some neon orange. Oops. I have dropped so many bands. Okay, and then where we're going to put the stripe is, as you can see, there's the first row. We're going to go right into the row after the first row. So here's, let me make sure it's focused. Here's the first row, and we're going to want to go, like, right on this row. So we can see this is the first row, so we're going to go right here. And we'll just stitch around to make the stripe. We just stitch all the way around. I'm kind of being quiet. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I don't know why I was having problems with that band. But we just stitch around. I don't do an exact amount. I just make sure to stitch into like... I just kind of, kind of um, follow the blue stitches. I might have gone too high there. No, oh, that looks correct. And then once you get to the end, once again, we'll go into that um, loop that looks like a first loop but isn't. And we'll make a slip knot in it. So we'll pull the band through everything on our hook. Oops. Things came undone. And then we'll put the back one over the front one and pull tight. 
then we just had to do. Like I said, I'm going to go off camera really quick to do the dude's um, berm because it needs to be done already. But we just do the same exact thing as we did with the girl's hat with the dude's. And if you're making a dude's hat, you do it the exact same. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I really quickly just went around the dude's hat. But it should look something like that now. So now all we have to do really is the face and the hairs. And the dude's hair actually at this point is done. So you would just have to do the face on him. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do the ears for both of these. So to do the ears, all we do is... Okay, I remember how I do this. It's a little interesting. Uh, so, let me make sure we're focused. There we go. We're gonna wrap around a, a band around our hook four times. So that's one, two, grab both of these loops, mix it four, double a band, pull it through this. And then we're gonna wanna get two bands, double them, and pull it through. Heard my little brother, you probably heard him. Like that. And then we will just pull a band through this. And it's really tight, so. Yeah. But that's how I do the ears. And then, usually, what I'll do, I'm going to show you, you this on the girl, is I put her ears in where I want them, but we also have to tie them up into the hat. Um. So I'm going to put her ear about right here. You want to put the bottom of the ear towards the lower half of the face. Like that. And it looks a little really weird until you tie it up. But it's just to see. I don't tie them up until the very end. But it's just to see where the ear would be. So when we do finally tie it up, we know where to like do it. Um... Yeah, but you're just going to do the exact same thing to the other side. And with a girl, you want to have both her ears on her face like this because you don't want to accidentally go over where the ear would be, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to pause and make the other ear real quick. Okay, so I made the other ear, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tie it, like, towards the bottom of her face. And I'm just going to tie it in and leave it, like, down. So it looks like she has these weird things, but it's just to mark where her ears would be. Um, so when I do the hair, I know to skip over that. It'll make sense in a second. But, yeah. It just takes me a second to do this. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, if you put her ears up, they'll look like they're in the correct spots. It's just they have to be, like, held up. Um, but yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go around this whole thing again. And I just realized I tied it off for no reason. So you're going to want to untie that last thing we did because we're going to go around this whole thing one more time. So we're just going to untie that last slip knot we did. And we're going to go into the first band, uh, the first loop. So not this loop, this one. And we'll put a C-clip on this one so we can go around it once. And we're just going to go around this once. We only do this for the girl's hair, not the boy's hair. So we're just going to go around one time with our hair color. I'm just going around. I was kind of eavesdropping on what my family was saying. I don't know what they're doing. I've been filming for quite some time now. I kind of filmed, figured this tutorial was going to take me a while to film, but it has definitely taken me longer than I thought. As you can see, she now has, like, bangs. Um, so we're just going to keep going around until we get back to that C-clip. I'm trying to stay on camera. It's just I had to turn my phone brightness down because my, um... Phone is dying, but I didn't want to, like, leave, wait for it to charge, and then finish this. I'm almost done, so I figured I would just finish it and then pray my phone doesn't die. But once we get back to the C-clip, we're just going to slip knot this end down. So we'll take a band, 
pull it through everything on our hook and we'll slip knot like that and now she has her bangs and then we'll just tuck the tail in wherever we feel we should tuck the tail in um, I should probably tuck it in towards the back and not in her face but now we're gonna tie up the ears and then we just have to do the back hair and her face and our elves are done but yeah we're gonna tie up her ears and usually I'll tie them up into the hat so you'll get your hat color and you're gonna want to go through like the full cap band and then I'll pull it all the way up to where her hat is and then I'll just pull a band through everything that's on my hook. Oops. And then we'll just push, pull the back one over the front one and pull tight and then there's her ear. We do the exact same thing to the other side. So we'll just pull up the ear. Well, we put our hook through the cat band first and then we pull up the ear to where the hat is and then we just pick a spot pull our band through everything on our hook put the back one over the front one and pull tight and hide the tail like that and now I think I made did I not stuff her? The stuffing in her head came out. Or I need to stuff her head more. It's like her head's kind of sinking in, which is a little odd because this didn't happen with the other elf. But it's because I didn't stuff her enough, so I'm going to have to fix that. But that's not like a design problem. That's my I forgot to put enough stuffing problem. Um, and the elf ears for the dude are the same way, and I forgot to make him. I only made one. So once again, we'll just wrap a band four times on our hook. Then we'll double a band. Lay it onto that. There's also like a random hair. I don't know if you can see it. And then we'll get two bands, double them, and pull the rest of the ear onto that. And then his are a little easier because you can tie them up right away. I usually try to plan where I put the ear. There we go. I just slip knot the bottom part in. And then once again, we just get the whole cap band. We go up into part of the hat. We'll get the hat color to tie it because you don't want to be able to see this. You just make a slip knot to hold them up. Like that. And then you'll just hide the tail for the skin tone band as well. I'm sorry if I keep going off camera, it's just it's so hard to see through my phone right now because the brightness is so low. Like that. And then we'll do the exact same thing for the other ear. So we'll go, I want to say about right here. Tie it in. And then tuck the tail in. These peach bands are like so stretchy. Like once they're stretched out, they're so long for whatever reason. And then all we do is we get we go through the top of the cap band on the ear. We go into part of the hat and we tie them. Like that. I also just realized I didn't finish off the girl's hair. Oopsies. But that that'll be it for the boy elf. You would just have to do the face. And I'll come back to show you how to do the face in a second. But I'm going to finish doing the girl elf's hair because she still needs hair in the back to give her long hair. And this is pretty easy to do. So you're just going to want to get some more caramel bands. And then... We'll just go, see this is why you want to have the ears up because I know I go into this stitch, like there's one stitch that's behind the ear, we just ignore that one. And we're just going to stitch, like just stitch in the loops all across to make her hair longer. And you're just going to do it in the brown loops you see. Once the 
loops go behind her ear, you kind of just ignore them, and then you just turn around and go back the other way. Oops, you're gonna want to make sure your loops are, um, your stitches are all facing the same way, because if not, it, I mean, it's not a big deal, it just bugs me, so I have to make sure I'm going through the right way. So we just stitch back. And then usually what I'll do is, you know that first part of the loop, I do this a lot in this design, that looks like a stitch, but isn't a stitch, we go through that. Where is it? It's right here. Isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I honestly don't know where it is. I'm just gonna go right here. But the first part of the stitch that looks like a stitch that is, but isn't, go through that. And now we just have to go back one more time in the other direction. I need more caramel bands. I'm also trying really hard to stay on camera, but because of, like I said, brightness issues, it's being a little hard. Okay, and then on this one too, you're gonna wanna go into that, um, actually, no, we're good. So, once you finish doing that last loop, you're just gonna go into like, this part of the hair, make a slip knot, and then we'll just tuck the tail in. I'm just gonna pull this into the head. It's not a big deal. And ta-da, she has hair. There we go. Her head is a little like flat right there, but I swear that's more of a stuffing problem. I did not stuff her head enough. Let me try to push some stuffing in. I just did not stuff her head enough. I'm gonna have to fix that later. Um, but last thing we need to do is the face, so this should be quick. So the nose. Um, I usually put, I actually put the eyes first, so we're gonna put the eyes in and then I'll show you how to do the nose, but I was just grabbing some peach bands. I want to go get bands for the cheeks, I realized I didn't have any. But we're just gonna put the eyes, I'll do the boy elf because his head isn't deflated. Um, make sure it's focused. There we go. And we're gonna put his eye right here. We slip knot it in. Usually I won't hide the tails for the eyes in the face until I like the face, so let's just go and do the other eye. Like that. And then he's gonna need a nose. So to make the nose is the same way I showed you how to make um, the eyes, except for I wrap it five times around my hook, so that's four. And then you're gonna grab it one more, do five. And then you pull a pan through this, and then we'll just put it right in the middle of where the eyes are. Like that. And now that I like his face, I'm going to hide all these tails in. At. And then what I'll usually do is I'll give them cheeks, so I have these two red sweet spans, and I'll just go right here by the eye, and I'll make a stitch, and I just will pull it tight enough so it'll stay but not move, and then you just hide the tail. And that gives them a cheek. And we do the same thing to the other side. I feel like this guy's ear is a little too forward, but that's just because I'm horrible at attaching on camera. So we do the same thing. Like that. Like I said, you want to pull it tight, but too tight. But not too tight. Um, I pulled out some stuffing with that one. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to fix his button and ear. Um, it's always hard to t attach on camera, but the face is the exact same for the girl, so I'm not going to show you how to do it because, um, it's the exact same. If you do want to do a mouth, though, for this dude, but you don't have a- I usually hot glue my mouth on, 
but you don't have one, what you can do is you can just cut a back black band. This is actually just a broken one I found on my desk. And you can just pull it into their face. So you're just going to pull it in where you would want the mouth to be. And it'll look like they have a mouth. Okay, his mouth is horrible because I feel like I made it too long. But you get the idea. <laughs> so, uh, I think that's it for this tutorial because you do this, the face on the girl the exact same. I'm not going to show you how to do it because... One, I need to put more stuffing in her head, and two, I already showed you how to do it on the guy. Um, I hope your elves turned out okay. Um, but yeah, if you make any of my elves, it's also really cracking me up that I accidentally did complementary colors for both my elves because red and green is complementary, orange and blue is also a complementary color. Now I just need yellow and purple. Um, but other than that, yeah, I hope your elves turned out okay. I hope this tutorial wasn't too confusing with me flipping between the boy elf and the girl elf. Um, and yeah, at first I thought this dude's pants, things were crooked, but it's that button that's making everything look wrong. He looks hilarious right now. I'm going to pull out his mouth. He looks better without it. Okay. I do think they look cute just like this, but <laughs> everything on his face is crooked. I'm really bad at attaching on camera. I'm so sorry. But like I said, if you make any of these elves, definitely show them to me on Instagram. I would love to see how yours turned out. Um... Subscribe if you want to see more tutorials from me. I have loads of more things coming. I'm always designing, and I swear I, I make more designs than I make tutorials sometimes. It's, yeah, I really need to catch up, but hopefully I will soon because I'm officially out of school now. And now I'm just rambling, so I'm going to go. I hope your elves turned out great. And yeah, I think that's it, so bye.